If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the final power-up expansions of Madden 20. Well, technically, the final content of Madden 20, because I don't think we're getting anything else. The recurring promos have stopped. I think we got the final Ultimate Legends. We got the final power-up expansions. So that's pretty much it. That could, this could be the last day of content for Madden 20, and we still have a month and approximately 18 days. Let's see, a month and 18 days left of Madden. Guys, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to make it our best. I am leaving today, if you guys didn't know. I am going on vacation, sort of, uh, today. I do leave tonight, so I will pre-record a bunch of stuff, and I will be visiting four Madden YouTubers. Leave it down below in the comments who you think I will be visiting. I'll be staying at two other houses. Uh, well, again, Madden YouTuber houses. So, let me know down below who you think. If you guessed it right, I'll probably give it a hearts up. But, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe down below. Comment down below. Join that noti bell. Or turn that noti bell and join the family. And that's it. But that's pretty much it. So, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you think you know who we're going to. And now, let's get into the item binder. Let's check out the... And there's only four today, which is kind of sad. We're used to getting six. You know, three offensive, three defensive. Now, all we get is, sadly four which is kind of depressing so i have the three right here and i have the other one in my binder so let's start with victor cruz victor is actually one of my favorite players like um not like all time but he's one of my favorite players considering i was a giants fan and when i first started watching football and i was around like 10 ish 11 that's when victor cruz was just around around the super bowl times so you know it's definitely cool to watch so let's go all the way down so victor cruz 99 overall power up expansion so he's a 72 strength doesn't really matter 96 agility solid 97 speed solid because he will get 99 98 so would be 99 95 awareness 95 catching is good 88 carrying isn't is actually pretty good for a wide receiver because i'm the problem being a 90 on my team uh, let's see he can't run block which is kind of expected for him smaller receiver 94 jumping 80 kick return 97 elusiveness is really good 91 ball carry vision 90 speed, 96 juke move so he's gonna be a really good juker uh 97 stamina 96 spec catch 95 catch in traffic 95 medium route running guys this card is actually pretty good. And I think he would be a goon on a giant squad. Yeah, on a giant squad, he would be nice. For real, I, I really do like this Victor Cruz card. I think he'd be awesome on a giant squad. Now, by himself, I don't know how much he like, because he's so tiny and stuff. Like, if people want to take him over, like, I got, like, Calvin Moss or any of those newer guys. But still, overall, not a bad receiver. And ability-wise, could probably get Jukebox or Evasive possibly evasive i don't know what the threshold is for that but he could probably get one of the two um probably like a route technician and then like a slot master slot route master whatever so you can get like that you can pick his abilities a route apprentice that's probably what i think he would get here and that's pretty solid he'd be like he'd be a really solid slot wide receiver in my opinion he'd be able to make a lot of people miss it'd be fun and on giant steam team probably your number one him on him odell and david tyree probably am i probably missing someone i don't believe with the plaques go so that's that on to the next one we got michael thomas michael thomas has had the worst cards all year has not been usable in my opinion so let's see what he's got now 99 overall michael thomas 80 strength 95 agility 93 speed guys you let me know if michael thomas is 93 speed in real life that's ridiculous so his max speed is going to be a 96 so he's unusable 96 acceleration 88 carrying is good Bad run blocking, 95 jumping is good, 80 elusiveness, 91 ball carry vision, 85 stiff arm, 81 spin move, 91 juke. It's not going to be too great after the catch. You're going to be like, okay, 98 spec catch, 99 catch in traffic, 97 medium route running, 90 AP press. So that's all going to be 99, guys. On my team, that should be all 99. 85 break tackle, solid. 99 short route running, deep route running to 93. And so yeah, most of his route running besides his deep is going to be phenomenal. He's going to be a great wide receiver. I mean, guys, on the same steam team. This card's going to be probably one of the best wide receivers in Madden. But without that theme team to boost his speed up to at least, even then, it's only like a 97, 98. Without that speed boost, hmm, his card's just not that great. Now, again, ability-wise, probably have similar abilities to like a Cruz. He's a, you know, he's a heavy route runner, so you probably have some kind of route ability. Probably like the one where you get to pick your routes. Um, maybe, maybe, I wouldn't even say streak specialist. You could put that on him, which I think is good. But maybe like a slant specialist, like that's like, and I don't even think that's worth it. Maybe a post flag elite kind of ability. But in my opinion, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this Michael Thomas. Really cool card art, which is sad because I always thought Michael Thomas was such a cool player. 
would be really fun to use, but Madden's made really sure that you would not be able to use his card at all this year, despite him being one of the best wide receivers and breaking, I believe, the reception record this year. So it's kind of sad that we can't use him. And now the other thing is the other guy on this list today that we will be seeing is another guy that I think has been screwed all year. So it's back-to-back -back guys who both had NFL Honors award cards. So it's kind of coincidence they did that at the same time. Now let's move on to the next card here that we got. We do have Steve Young. Now Steve Young... This could actually be pretty good. This could, be a, this could be a pretty good quarterback. I haven't even checked the stats yet. I usually don't, so I can have, like, genuine reactions to these cards as I will watch. All right, 90, 65 strength. Doesn't matter. 90 agility is low, so he will not be getting a uh, human joystick. But that's fine, because it's Steve, it's Steve Young. I didn't really expect to get that with him. 89 speed, so he won't up getting, like, a 92 speed. So, he's going to be, like, a Cam Newton, Josh Allen-esque runner. So, now his, his passing really has to hold up here. 91 Excel. Solid. 97 awareness is good. 74 carrying is bad, but again, the quarterback's fumble regardless. 95 throw power is kind of low, but with go deep and John Madden passing, I will get up to like a 98, I believe, so I'm not too worried about that. 85 jumping, 81 elusiveness, 89 ball carrier vision, 82 spin move, 88 juke, so he's not going to be able to get like any juking abilities or any of that stuff, but that's fine. And again, I didn't expect that. Throw short to 98, amazing. Throw mid to 98, amazing. Throw deep to 95. So it'll go deep, his throw power and throw deep will get up all to like 98s, and then his other accuracy will be maxed out. So honestly, it's pretty close maxed out throw on the run, 98. 94 play action doesn't really matter. 77 break tackle is decent. 90 break sacks a little bit low, and 98 throw to pressure. So guys, his passing should almost be damn near all 99 maxed. So I honestly really think this is a great card. This is a really good quarterback. The throw power can be sub can be uh, fixed with go deep and John Madden passing, so that's not bad. And then although, although passing stats can close to 99, if you're a Steve Young guy or you're, if, guys, if you're a 49er fan, this card will probably be amazing. At least it got to be the best 49er theme team quarterback right over Joe Montana, Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, I think so. Guys, this, this, this card's pretty good. He will get Escape Artist. He should get Dashing. No, yeah, he will get Dashing Deadeye. He's going to get Escape Artist, Dashing Deadeye. Um, I'd say Escape Artist, Dashing Deadeye. Maybe Gunslinger. And if he can get it, which I don't know, I forgot, I don't know the threshold for this one, but if he can get it, it would be cool if he could get a Hot Rod Master, Conductor, one of those, but I'm not sure how that works in terms of... I Honestly, I like the Steve Young so far, so I mean, we got one good, we got one bad, we got one good again, so we're going back and forth. Now, we are into the final card. Now, hopefully that card can stand up and compete a little bit here. Well, you know, in terms of uh, who's the best card now. Guys, this is a guy that's gotten bad cards all year. Like, no joke, this guy has been screwed all year. I really hope they don't screw him here. That'd be really upsetting if they do. Christian McCaffrey. I've been wanting to use I've been wanting to use him all year, and he hasn't gotten one good card in my opinion. At the time, like at the time he hasn't. Alright, 75 strength, 95 speed. So again, on everything that you can have on him, 98 speed. I still feel like like okay, but it should be 99. 97 Excel is gonna be like a 98. 98 awareness solid. 89 caching is amazing because it's caching with my uh, with John Madden passing. Or is it oh no does John Madden passing give I don't know. It will that probably gets to a 90 regardless. 93 carrying is decent, not that great actually. 93 kicker turn, 97 elusiveness, 92 ball carry vision, 80 stiff arm, 96 stiff, uh, spin move, 98 juke. So he's not like max spin and juke, so he's always kind of evasive. Uh, 84 spec catch is actually really good. 82 catch in traffic, 83 medium route running, 82 beat press, 90 break tackle, and 90 short route running. So this card pretty much just looks like a receiver. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a dual threat, he can do a lot of things. But for the way I usually run my receiving backs and stuff, I tech, I usually don't throw anything contested, like just like open angles or, or like, you know, right into the flats. So I don't think you really need all that. Now, it's it, great to have, but I don't know if that's worth the 95 speed. Now, again, if you have sprint and you have everything on him, you can redeem that to an extent. But like, there's running backs that start at 99 speed. So by, you just shouldn't have to do that. Like a Bo Jackson. See, I wish. I wish I can get him a Caffer, but it just never works out. Now, let's rank him. So coming in number four. I'm going to go, I mean, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Michael Thomas here. Let me just make sure to see what I got. Michael Thomas, number four. Number three is Christian McCaffrey. Number two is going to be Victor Cruz. And number one is going to be Steve Young. Because Victor Cruz is actually really, really good. I think he's great. Not number one, but Steve Young is a quarterback. And he could be a maxed out quarterback, especially for 49ers theme team, which is a really popular theme team. Victor Cruz, Giants theme team. Not the most popular one, but Victor Cruz is still actually a good card regardless. And he's a cool name. Michael Thomas was just, I mean, McCaffrey wasn't that great, and Michael Thomas was just ass. 93 speed. We got that speed back around Christmas, so had to be done. Now, guys, is about it for the video. Say a prayer for the last day of Madden content for this year. We've had, we, we would officially have had Madden already for almost a year on this game. A year straight, I've been doing this for you, like a year. It's kind of crazy to say that, but guys, about it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the Only Bubble Boys. Comment down below who you think I'm going to, and that's it. I'm out. Peace.